Hi guys, I hope everybody's okay and doing fine and dandy out there in YouTube land. Now, a couple of people have been asking me what's happening with Kez. Why have they not seen me in Kez or using Kez and what have you. As I explained before, there are a few things that I needed to get straight first for my own comfort prior to actually using her and getting her on the road. Um, it took a long while um, to, to get kick-started really because I, I ordered a lot of stuff online. I had to wait for it all to arrive. Eventually it all turned up and um, last night a friend and myself, we started on Kez. Um, oh, she looks a bit of a mess now to be honest. Um, so we've insulated some of the, or the back doors as best that we can. We've carpeted uh, a little bit of the inside that, that needed carpeting. There was one of the panels which is on the sliding door and it had a few cracks in it so we sealed the cracks. It also had a piece that was broken off. We kind of stuck that back on and then we carpeted it, carpeted it and she looks like a, in my opinion, she looks a million times better. Um, we, <clears throat> we pulled the backboard off the bed and I decided that, well, the bed's going to be lowered. That's the next job that needs doing and we're going to sort of attempt that pretty soon. I'm not sure when, but it's certainly within the foreseeable future. So the bed needs to be lowered so that it's more of a, it's at the height of seating because at the moment it's, it's way too high and uh, even though it leaves like a garage underneath of it with plenty of room for storage I personally don't need that much storage uh, in the van or in that in the back of the van I don't need a boot that size I do not need that kind of a garage area and even once I reduce it to sort of below half the or just above half the height that it is now it still leaves me a lot of room which is ample for me lots and lots of space for me to store stuff in underneath the bed and it means that, oh yeah, what, also, what we've also done is we've pulled away the board that was at the back of the bed. And uh, I've decided that I'd rather just not have board down there at all. Um, so what we've done, we've pulled the board off and it means that I can now, if, if I pull up somewhere nice, it's a particularly nice day and I want to sit there and have a read or I just want to chill out and have a coffee or a tea, I can just open the back doors and then I can look at the, I can get the whole view behind me. And it also means that it makes it more accessible for sort of wind to, to come through. It lets a lot of air through as well, through as, through as well particularly on one of those hot days. Because it, I noticed that inside the camper van, inside Kez, that it got particularly hot and sticky. Um, and, and, you know, it, it, I was sweating just sitting in there. So it's quite nice to be able to pull up and open those doors and, as I say, have a drink or a coffee and look out on the views uh, and let the fresh air run through sort of go through. <clears throat> so that's all good. Um, what else am I doing? What else do I need to do? Yes, the bed needs lowering. Um, it's not as big a job as I thought, to be honest, because the way that it's been built, it's kind of been built on solid sort of four by twos, uh, and they just gonna, they're just going to need sort of shortening, and then the bed can come down on that. Uh, I'm probably going to put a better mattress on there at the moment as well. Um, it, it's a it is a memory foam mattress, but it's very, very thin. It's like you know, it's not even an inch. Maybe if, even a, even if it is an inch at a push, it's just not enough. Um, it, you know, it's it's not not comfortable. So I need to uh, make arrangements for a new mattress. Um, what else have I got to do? Um, yeah, I'm having some curtains made for her at the moment, or just about to get them made, and. Uh, I want to re-updo that the bit of there's not a lot of upholstery in there, but I've bought some material and I want to redo the upholstery that's in there because it's a bit jaded now. It's a bit, it's looking tired and worn, so that needs refreshing. And um, once that's done, those are the incidentals. Those are the you know those are the little bits and bobs that make it comfortable for me. I'll be quite happy with that, and then then she can we can go and do the other bits at, at some point. So very soon I hope so yeah so it shouldn't be too long maybe a week or two and I, I should I should have her on the road she should be out there and she should be good to go and um, yeah that's it really just wanted to give you an update on Kez um, that's it really that's all I, I wanted to tell you so give it a couple of weeks you'll get a good look at Kez on the inside you'll see she might not look that much different I mean it's basically the same layout and the same structure it's just that the bed's going to be lower and it's going to be more open. So, yeah, we'll see what it looks like. We'll see what she looks like when she's done. 
Um, in my mind's eye, she looks superb. Let's see if in reality she turns out that way. <laughs> but that's it, guys. So uh, look after each other, look out for each other, be kind to each other, and I will speak to you all very, very soon. Bye.